Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 12 part video series showing you how to do LCBG office building. Let's get started. So let's start by opening a new architecture template. Press OK here and then wait for it to load up. And we start on level one. First things first, we need to add levels. So I'm planning to add it on our south elevation. So under elevation, click on south elevation, double click. And then here, level one to level two is already added. We're gonna leave level one. But on level two, I'm gonna click on this number. And then let's change this to 3500. After that, just click on the space and then click back on level two. Once this is clicked, we could um, type in CO or click on the copy. After that, pull it up and then type in 3500. So that's for level two three and then we need to do this again but now we need to check multiple so that we could add multiple levels at the same time so i'm gonna click on multiple and i'm gonna click it back and pull it up and 3500 again So at the moment, we're going to stop at level 5. If we want to add more, we're going to do it later on. So I'm going to press escape now and then escape again. So right now, we have level 1 to level 5. And if you notice on our floor plan, it's not appearing yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to view and we're going to go to plan views floor plan and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight everything that we're right here so I'm gonna hold on your control button and click that or what you can do is just click level one hold on shift and then click on level five it will highlight everything and then after that press ok so now everything will be shown here let's go back to level one and let's close this off we don't need it yet so level one we're done we're going to add grid lines so under architecture so grid it's you can type it gr for short and then we're going to add grid line vertically first so similar to that. So we have number one, but I want the letters here first and then the numbers late on the horizontal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press escape twice, zoom in and click on the grid bubble. Once this is highlighted and editable, we will type in A capital A so I'm gonna do a first and then click on the grid line again so once it's clicked we can use copy command or type in CO click it again and then move it on the right side and then the first dimension so a to B will be 5150 so 5150 so I'm good with that and as you can see from A to B it will automatically recognize what you want or the sequence that you want to have so A, B and then this will be the C and this will be 6200 
move it again on the other side so we can actually just move it like that and then keep on typing so the next one will be 5160 next will be 4030 next is 5190 and then 38.50. So that's our grid, vertical grid. So we can now escape here and then escape again. Next, we're going to do the horizontal. So you can type in GR or this icon. So GR and then I'm going to place it around here. So click it there, press escape, and then escape. I want to zoom in, but I want to change now this one to be a number. So click on the grid line or grid bubble, and then now press number one and click on the other on the space. So now it's changed. It will recognize the sequence now that you want to have. Click on the grid. And then type in CO, that's for copy. And then click on the grid line again and pull it down. Similar to what we did earlier, we just pull it down and we can just type in. Just make sure that this is 90, your angle. So now first one will be 60, 70. So 1 to 2, then 2 to 3 will be 6,000. Next will be 60, 80. Then 6,200. After that, we will have 59, 5990. 5990. And then another will be 6120. And then lastly, we will have 5940. 5940. Press escape and then escape again. So as you can see, you notice that the our building is too big. So what we'll have to do is just click one of the grid vertical grid lines right here. As you notice, we have a temporary um, broken lines here stating that once we move this, everything will move at the same time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this and then drag it. And as you can see, it moves as well. So that's really handy. You don't need to individually move everything. And then for press escape and then for the elevation tags, um, so this one's, uh, once we click on the elevation, it's basically showing what is over right here. So what we need to do is we just need to select everything similar to that and then just move it down like that so that it will cover whatever we put here. Okay, so it will cover everything similar to this. Um, we could actually move our other elevation. So this will be our elevation three, or probably this is our east. So I'm just moving it on this side. And for the west, 
I'm going to move it somewhere here as well. So just to cover everything. This is even too much. So we're just going to move it like that. So basically, you just want to cover everything, especially for your building, so that it is shown. You can even click, double click here, and it will show the elevation. So that, that's actually the west. As you can see, it's highlighted there. And maybe later we're going to fix all our elevation. And as you can see, even this for our levels, you can see that we have um, broken lines, temporary, stating that we can move all together at the same time. Even here, you can move. So that's very handy. So let's go back to level one. So everything is done. We just need to add our dimensions so that you can follow follow it again. So let's try and do this here. Um, and then click on dimensions, align dimensions, or DI, or this icon. You can also use this icon as well. So there's multiple icons that you can use. So now we just need to click on the grid lines and as you can see it will show the dimensions so let's do that all the grid lines and then you should add the overall that's very standard in architecture so grid lines first And then overall. So now we have our overall dimensions and our grid dimensions right there, so that you guys can follow. So I just want you, I want to show everyone what we have. Hopefully, you'll be able to pause the video and then see all the dimensions. And before we go further and add our wall, our exterior wall, I just want to add in one more uh, grid line. So this will be number 9, and it will be 6500. And let's go and extend this right here. And then just move this all the way down like so. And for our overall, let's extend it like that. And then we just need to click on this, align dimension or DI. And then just add one right here. So this one, six. 475 but we needed I'm gonna click on this we needed 6500 okay so just by clicking this you will be able to extend this using the dimensions So now I'm happy with what we have. We can start clicking on the wall. So now click on wall or WA. Let's use generic 200 millimeters. Or you could use whatever you want here. I just like using the generic because I don't need to remove um, the materials that they have all this. I know for um, Revit 2022, you don't have the generic anymore, but you have the one that with assembly walls. So what you can do is just edit type, duplicate, and then just, once you duplicate, you just need to do, uh, delete all this. So that's what you can do. 
but make sure to duplicate it first so that you will still have the um, assembly line for the the one that you cho chose so right now i'm just gonna use the generic 200 millimeters i'm gonna edit this and then duplicate i'm gonna name this as exterior wall number one press ok edit i'm gonna maintain the 200 thickness for the exterior wall and for the material i'm gonna set this up with some generic wall first so i'm gonna use clad white for now press ok and then ok so now what I'm going to do is I, I want to make sure that wall centered line chain is, un chain is checked. And then here you will need to change this to level 2. You can do it here or you can do it right here. So base constraint level 1, top constraint to be up to level 2. So you can change it from here and then after that what we need to do is we just need to click on a number one up to e1 okay going down to e2 going to F2 going all the way down to F9 going here up to C9 so we need to know which is C which is this line so C9 going up to C8 and then going here A8 and then going back again to A1. Hopefully you guys followed. So first is A1 up to e1 going down to e2 and going to f2 from f2 going down up to f9 and then going back to c9 and then c8 and then a8 going back to a1 so that's how the sh shape of our building. And then you can press escape. So we're going to stop here for now. And continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.